The world we live in is an interesting one, but what makes it interesting is how it works, and a big part of that is science. An essential part of how it works has to do with thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the branch of science that deals with heat and temperature and how things cool down and how things heat up. We now have a set of four laws to easily understand thermodynamics. The zeroth law of thermodynamics says that if T1 is equal to T3 and T2 is equal to T3, then T1 is equal to T2. Here's an example. We have three objects, A, B, and C. If object A has the same temperature as in thermal equilibrium with object B, and object B is in thermal equilibrium with object C, object C must also be in thermal equilibrium with object A. It's pretty simple, huh? The first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but only transformed from one form to another. It is also known as the law of conservation of energy. Take a look at this light bulb. When turned on, it seemingly creates radiant and thermal energy. But since we know the first law of thermodynamics, we can say for a fact that this is not energy being created out of thin air. And so we know that the energy is coming from the socket in the wall. There are two ways for energy to be added into a system. Heat. When an object with a higher temperature is placed next to an object with a lower temperature, you get something called a heat transfer. During the heat transfer, the heat always flows from the hotter object into the colder object. And this keeps going on until thermal equilibrium is achieved. Work, on the other hand, is done when a force is applied to an object, which causes it to move. Work is calculated by multiplying the force applied by the amount of movement of the object. But above that, it gives us a way to quantify energy flow. The change in energy is equal to the heat plus the work done on the system. The second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of any isolated system will always increase. And since the universe is the ultimate isolated system, the entropy of the universe will always increase. Entropy is the amount of disorder in a system. Have you ever dropped a mug and shattered it? When you shatter the mug, it goes into many pieces, from one piece to several pieces. And that is disorder. Or, you see this bottle? When I open it, all the gas molecules that are trapped inside will release outside. And that is the amount of disorder increasing. There is no way to not increase entropy without you trying to do something. And that's why this is the second law of thermodynamics. To better understand this law, let's take a look at the following formula. This law says that the change in total amount of entropy in the universe is equal to the change in the total amount of entropy in the system plus the change in the total amount of entropy in the surroundings, which is always greater than zero. The third law of thermodynamics has to do with the boundary that the universe has set for us. The third law states, at absolute zero, the entropy of a perfectly crystalline substance is zero. If an object reaches absolute zero, all of the atoms inside it stop moving. The thing is, in the real world, it's not possible to reach absolute zero, which is measured as zero Kelvin. Attaining a temperature as cold as zero Kelvin or absolute zero is impossible, or at least as far as we know, because it's similar to the problem of reaching the speed of light. As you get closer and closer to the speed of light, the amount of energy needed starts growing exponentially and at the point where you reach the speed of light, you need an infinite amount of energy. Reaching zero Kelvin requires you. It's the same thing in a sense. How? As you reach closer and closer to zero Kelvin, you need to basically take out an infinite amount of heat that is in the object. And so, it's not possible as far as we now are, as far as we know. These are some of the riddles of science that us humans have been unable to solve to this day. This means it's a chance for you and I to be able to solve these riddles.